today we want to introduce a new concept, and that is packing. It's a statistical tool to evaluate the quality of pass. And the only reason I want to introduce it to the team, and I don't want them to understand it at the deepest of deepest level, it's just at a high level, understand that there's a, there is statistical ways of evaluating quality passing. So you've scanned, you've got your body shape correct, you know where your teammates are, and now there are passing options. You may have one passing option, or you may have several. Now, if you have several, which passing option is better? Now, if you're watching tape or the coach tells you, hey, there is a better passing option, that's a quality statement. Now, is it the coach's opinion? Or can we make that statement objective? Are there objectively better passes? And this is where packing comes in. Packing measures each time a forward pass or dribble is completed and counting up how many opponents have been taken out or bypassed in that process. So to give you a little background about packing, it is a natural response to what was going on in soccer in the late 2000s and early uh, 2010s. So Spain won the Euro in uh, 2008, uh, won the World Cup in 2010, and won the Euros again in 2012. Clearly the dominant national team for many years. Barcelona at the same time won the Champions League in 06, in 09, in 11, and 15. Spain was the pinnacle of soccer at that time period. And they were playing a thing called tiki taka which is possession for possession's sake. They wanted a lot of possession. Why? Well, it's the same reason why we want possession. Because if we have the ball, our opponent doesn't. Now, what was happening is that, okay, you got these stats at the end of the game, and yeah, the passing accuracy was like at 99%, 89%, 98%, and they had you know, 800 passes a game, 1,000 passes a game. That's great and all, but did the numbers actually reflect what was going on in the field, and did, it, did the better numbers mean you were going to win? Well, the Germans at the time kind of started thinking to themselves, well, no, because just because you're passing between the four and the five and the two back to the four, to the one, to the five, to the two, to the four, five, you can make that pass all day against a, a team that is sitting back. It's not doing anything. It's not going forward. You're not putting the ball in the back of the net. And that's, in the end, what the goal of soccer is, to score more goals than the opponents. So it came out of an idea out of Germany. It's like, we have to be able to recognize and reward players whose passing or dribbling beats opponents. So this is where the idea of possession with purpose. And why they called it packing, I don't know. But that's what the term they came up for. it. So packing is that answer. So we're going to look at here, the six has the ball, and he's got three passing options. He could push it back to the four. That's a very safe pass, and maybe they're trying to draw out the opponent to get more space in behind. That's a good pass. It's a very safe pass. He could pass it out to the two, and the two can make a good first touch and go bombing down uh, the outside. But then there's the pass to the eight, and that pass would then cut out one, two, three defenders. So packing would then reward that pass between the six and the eight by saying, yes, he gets a point for completing the pass, and he gets three extra points for beating three defenders. While as the pass to the two or the four would not receive those extra bonus points. So we wanted to highlight the concept of uh, packing as opposed to merely just completing a pass. So what packing in the end does, it objectively will tell you what is the better pass by the number of defenders that pass happens to beat.
Now in this clip, you'll watch a 100% pass completion rate. Congratulations, you, you, you passed the ball, you received it correctly. Not a problem, 100%. The problem is that pass didn't beat any opponent. So is it any more advantageous to any other pass? So that's the, that's the thing you have to develop. So what we're gonna look at first is, the build, is our build-up play. We have our fullback, our four, our seven, six, five. Our 11 should probably be with his partner across there. And I don't know where the three is. The three should be here for the build-out play. So that means we're already a man down where we need to be, you know, at least um, even if not higher. Okay, so there is the pass. Now the question is, is there an objectively better pass to do? Now using packing, what we can say then is that the pass to which player would have been better? The answer is to the seven, either directly to the seven or out to the fullback into the seven. And how I say that is pass is gonna be better is because it would have cut out One, two, three, four, five, six opponents. That's over half their team. We would have cut out with one simple pass. And it doesn't even have to be to the seven. It could have been into the space here as well. So that is the concept of packing. Okay, so if we take packing, then score that last clip. Now, in traditional statistics, both the pass to the five and the pass to the seven would be 100% pass rate, one pass completed, both of them. And so there's no quality uh, statement about either pass. Now, packing does add that quality statement. One is objectively better. So that pass from the one to the five would receive only one packing point, and that's the point for pass completion. That's the original pass. Now, if we had the pass to the seven, they would receive seven packing points. That's the one for the initial pass completion, plus six bonus points for every player of the opposition that they bypassed. And since so there were six players, seven total packing points. Now, this is the cool thing about packing. Both the passer and the receiver receive those points. Um, so it's not only is it a good pass, you have to have a good reception as well to maintain possession. Now, at a higher level, you or sorry, at a, at a more detailed level, you can then add up all your packing scores, do it versus a 90 minutes. So you have your packing score per 90 minute, evaluate players that way. You can do packing score versus passing attempts to evaluate players that way. But in general, what I want you to understand is that the more opposition that you cut out through a pass that is completed and we maintain possession, the better. So don't long ball, you can long ball it and, and, and bypass a lot of opposition, but if it goes right back to their center back, it's no good. We have to maintain possession. However, we have to have possession with a purpose. So it all comes down to making quality decisions. How do I know when to build out of the back? How do I know to look for the next level? And how long can I go and still maintain possession? We wanna have smart soccer players, and these are the questions that I expect everyone in the team to be asking themselves every time we try to attack in the initial third. In the end, I'm trying to get you to read the game. Take what the opposition's giving you. There are gonna be cues and tells about when we attack and how we attack in the initial third. If we have a very, very high pressing team, they've got four guys in our face all the time. If that's the case, what's behind them? Well, spaces. So we can we get the ball into that space directly? If they're laying off, Okay, so they're going to be our their their demarcation line, their challenge line is going to be a little farther back. Okay, that gives our four and a five and our two and a three a little more time 
and a little more space. And so we should be able to build out of the back normally with simple one touch passing. But the option here is that you are in charge when you're playing, you have to read the game. So our goal is to create a total footballer, an intelligent footballer, someone who loves the game and takes ownership of the process while they're playing. And how you do that is that you have to gather your information, you have to evaluate the information that you gathered, you have to make quality soccer decisions, and eventually you guys will be making wonderful quality soccer actions. So thank you so much for listening to uh, a new concept of packing. Hopefully you understand it. But essentially in the end, all I want you to do is make a good quality soccer decision so that you guys are successful on the field.